What's up, guys? It's Brian from Hashware Hub. It's about 8.30 a.m., March 26, 2018, and we got a brand new trading video coming right to you. Uh, but first, if you're new to us, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, notification bell, uh, upvote and resteam. If you guys are on Steam or DTube, um, and if not, get right on over there. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna start off on this screen right here. This is actually a four-hour chart, and I zoomed out, and I wanted to show you guys something um, because I've gotten some questions about like the power of you know, looking for divergences and stuff like that. And uh, this is just something really simple and stupid. Um, but it was something that, you know, were, was able to tell me quite a bit, you know, since I've been trading this for quite some time. But let's look at this, right? So here, and I just, these are just a few that I picked out um, on, on a larger basis, right? So we had a peak here, right? And we had a peak here, right? The peak here and here, right? This peak is higher than this one. This peak here is lower than this one, right? That should tell you a lot. And the market then had fallen off from there. Okay, here, right? This peak and this peak are nearly the same height on the on-balance volume. But this peak is higher than this one. Clearly, we have a divergence, right? And look how much this thing sold off. I'm going to look at another one. Here, we have this, this peak right here. And we had this peak right here, the ultimate top, right? This peak on unbalanced volume was lower than this peak right here, okay? And the market, we know what happened from there, okay? So, so now um, we're looking at these two peaks right here, okay? It's not as much of a divergence as the other ones, but we have this peak right here, and we have this peak right here, okay? Where the second unbalanced volume peak is lower than here and yes price wise this peak was lower than here so it's not like a true divergence but the the um, the point that I'm trying to make is that uh, this is much lower than this is with respect to how even this peak is with this peak okay so just wanted to sh uh, show that to you guys and see how things have uh, obviously fallen off from here. So this is one of the things that I, that I look at uh, quite a bit. Um, and uh, I'll just have to try to keep on looping it into the videos as much as possible. So what, it ha what happened? So we, uh, we corrected to the downside. Um, and so what this is leading me to believe is that... Um, uh, this is truly uh, right here five waves that's going to be coming down That's what it's leading me to believe right now. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this from a Fibonacci extension perspective and what happens We basically made a one-for-one one, um, Extension in other words the if this is the third wave here is the same size as the first wave and that's Typical uh, Elliott wave theory as far as uh, Fibonacci extension is concerned. Okay, then normally what we then look to we look for is a fifth wave to come down somewhere between uh, this 1.618 and 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 basically halfway the distance between one and 1.618. Uh, so that seems to be making seems to be making a lot of sense. Another thing I want to show here is let's say for example this is an A, a B, and a C, right? This is on the bullish count, right? So if I go ahead and look at this right now, what happens, right? The market is pretty much, uh, the, you know, the, the, the one extension is pretty much right where we are right now, okay? The, we, wicked, we wicked just below it. Let me zoom in here. We, we had a wick just below it. And we came back. We came back up above it. So, um, what am I? What am I expecting? If this is a five wave, if this is five waves, then uh, I think the third wave is over. We're gonna get a fourth wave coming up, and then we're gonna get a fifth wave uh, coming back down. Um, and you know, it could. I originally had my C right here around this eight thousand fifty level, because uh, I was looking for a one to one extension from the A, uh, but it looks like it could possibly be be lower um, based on the levels that I had mentioned before uh, just just a few seconds ago so 
the 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 key thing here though is um, we we drop below the top of this uh, green trend line and that's clearly not a good thing so if I'm looking at this as from a bullish count and this is a large one we have a large two and then we're gonna have to have a three coming up now this three is gotta it's it's gotta happen happen you know if we even if we make a small little fifth wave okay it's got to start happening soon thereafter Otherwise, I do think that we are going to continue to continue to come down because I do think that a lot of people are counting this in a in a bullish uh, in a bullish way, not 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 a bearish way. And in the event that the bulls realize that they are not in charge, they're going to I mean, they're going to be scared shitless and they're going to start dumping this um, very, very quickly. Um, one thing that shows me here that it's not too bullish is look at this ton of volume that came in on this candle right here right and what did the candle do the candle did very little right the candle did very 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 little where um where i would have thought that laguerre rsi would have would have, would have just bounced right up okay and we would have we would basically would have had a you know like a buy signal we don't have that right we don't have that at all but what did it do on the unbalanced volume all this volume that came in it spiked the obv on top of this trend line that we had drawn uh, yesterday, I believe. And now the market has then come back down underneath it. All right. So uh, it doesn't look too bullish uh, as far as that's concerned. We are sitting at a key level right now. This uh, 8,000 level where this thing stopped is there's a lot of volume in that spot. Uh, there's, there's a ton of volume in that spot. And it makes sense that it has stopped there <clears throat> as far as the retracement level is concerned um, we are right in as far as if this is one a, a big one wave we are right in uh, basically this golden pocket of 0.618 to 0.65 as far as the retracement is concerned okay uh, 0.618 is uh, 8,040 and 0.65 is about 7,981. So we basically peaked right into this golden pocket right here. Um, <clears throat> that's also telling, you know, that's telling that um, this, if this is really a second wave, that, you know, <clears throat> it was a strong second wave. It went ahead and it, 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 it tested uh, quite a bit. Anything more than this, I'm, it's going to lead me to believe that um, we really do still have this bearish scenario going on. And again, could be that WXYXZ, um, you know, or it could be also something very similar um, uh, where we have basically a large A, a B, and a C coming down. And if that's the case, if we have an A, B, C uh, coming down, um, and I have mentioned this long, long time ago, um, uh, we have an ABC coming down. Just looking at this from a um, Fibonacci extensions concerned, we're looking at levels probably somewhere around 4,832. If the C wave, in other words, the large C wave, is to be as large as the A wave here, okay, that would bring us all the way down here. All right. So. Um, just wanted to throw out some of those levels. Uh, another, another level here I want to throw out is a one-hour resistance level. Okay, we're back, uh, back with that because the market has fallen off uh, quite a bit. So let's go ahead and put this up. This one-hour resistance level. Uh, where is my ray? There it is. Um, one, uh, eight thousand one hundred and eighty-three. Okay, eight thousand one hundred and eighty-three. <clears throat> one hour resistance, eight thousand. One hour resistance, eight thousand. One hundred eighty-three. Okay, so four hour resistance. Um, where is that? Originally we had eight thousand seven hundred fifty-four. Now we're going to bring this down to eight thousand three hundred thirty. Okay, these these uh, candles are still open. Okay, so these numbers can change. Um, in other words, they can they can go up, and maybe when the candles close, 
I will, especially the four hour one, I will go ahead and update it on our Facebook uh, trading team. So is 8,330 makes a lot of sense. It's also the basically the bottom right here, right? Which is also kind of like the bottom here and here. And there's also a ton, ton of, you know, other lines right here. Uh, not, not other lines, but there's a ton of other congestion right here, right, right along the, that level. So I do think this is going to be a significant level. Um, the daily resistance pretty much stays the same. Again, we have to wait for today to be over in order to get to update this second number right here. Um, but that's pretty much what we have right now. Um, you know, I, I can start talking about putting a little bit more meat on the bones, but, um, you know, it's not really going to change uh, all, all that much uh, from, from, from what we have. So, yes, looking for a fourth wave and then a fifth wave. You know coming down here from this uh from this c wave right here and then i'd be looking for it to come up okay that's uh that's my bullish scenario my bearish scenario is it just keeps going down i mean <laughs> i'm sorry to say but it's uh it's a, it's as simple as that um you know where does it come down to i mean yeah i mean this bottom right here makes 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 a lot of sense the bottom of these two candles right here let's call it about 73 7342 somewhere along those lines okay after that we have this right here okay I mean, we are clearly below the 200 moving average and the 55 ema clearly below it um, we basically spent all weekend around the 55 ema testing the crap out of it and and now the market has fallen off it's not even just fallen off but it's fallen off below the green line and i think that is that is um that is significant um yeah, so we need volume really to come back into this game. Uh, we need we need volume to come back into this game quick, in order to really start pushing things in a bullish in a bullish direction to add a bit more uh, support to the market and also confidence to the market. All right. Um, another thing I want to show real quick, just on unbalanced volume, is is uh, look where we are right now. Okay, where we are somewhere, let's say. Uh, 467,591 right well well we've been lower okay we've definitely have been lower i mean even here we've been much much lower right 4,003 4,000 439,000 approximately right so we can get lower i mean there's no doubt about it i mean you look back you look back in in history um you know this is around 2016 you know we were we were lower so not to say that we we have to get there, but I'm just saying that we we could we could get there. So anyway, I think we're gonna leave it there for there right now. Uh, hope you guys have a great day, and we'll speak to you soon.